do all expressions factor? When we study factoring, it does seem like every expression that we're given does factor. But is this the case? Let's look at some examples. The first expression is 25x squared plus 36. Remember, the first step in factoring is always to factor out the greatest common factor. But here, the only common factor between 25x squared and 36 is 1. And therefore, we move on to another strategy. At this point, we might recognize that 25x squared and 36 are both perfect squares. If it's helpful, we can write 25x squared as the square of 5x. And we can write 36 as the square of 6. So we do have a sum of squares. But remember, only a difference of squares is factorable, as shown by this formula here. A sum of squares does not factor. We could try factoring it, but if we multiplied out the binomials, we would not get 25x squared plus 36. So because this expression does not factor, we can say the expression is prime. Next, we have x squared minus 6x minus 8. If the trinomial does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. And because the first term is x squared, and the factors of x squared are x and x, we place an x in the first position of the first binomial, and an x in the first position of the second binomial. The second terms in the two binomials must be the factors of negative 8 that add to negative 6. So we want to see if we can find factors of negative 8, the constant term, that add to the coefficient of x, which is negative 6. Well, negative 2 times positive 4 is negative 8. But negative 2 plus 4 is equal to positive 2, not negative 6. Negative 4 times positive 2 is also negative 8. But negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, which is not negative 6. Well, we could also try negative 8 times 1. But negative 8 plus 1 is equal to negative 7, not negative 6. And we could also try negative 1 times 8, which is negative 8. But negative 1 plus 8 is positive 7, not negative 6. We've exhausted all the possibilities to factor the given trinomial. The trinomial does not factor. It is prime. It might be tempting to use the factors of negative 2 and negative 4, because negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. But negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8, not negative 8. Again, this does not factor. In the last expression, we have 64x squared plus 36. Notice that 64x squared is a perfect square, and so is 36. So we do have a sum of squares, but this is not the correct strategy. Remember, the first step is always to factor out the greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor between 64x squared and 36 is 4. If it's helpful, we could rewrite this as 4 times 16x squared plus 4 times 9, just to see the greatest common factor of 4. So the first step is to factor out the 4. So this expression does factor. Once we factor out 4, we're left with 16x squared plus 9. And now we see if we can factor further. Inside the parentheses, we have 16x squared plus 9. Both 16x squared and 9 are perfect squares. So we might be thinking that we have 4 times the square of 4x plus the square of 3. But again, a sum of squares is not factorable. And therefore, we cannot factor this expression further. But because we did factor out the 4, it is factorable. It just doesn't factor in the way that we thought it might. So the final factored form is 4 times the quantity 16x squared plus 9. So in studying factoring, we can't assume all expressions will factor as we expect. I hope you found this helpful.